Hello guys. So I just feel like uh, I wanted to do the part two of the vlog about the land because I'm kind of blooming right now. I feel like I am. <laughs> so I'm just gonna share with you guys uh, what is the process or what are the uh, things that we did when we bought the land in Shargao. So. So the first thing is, uh, of course, you need to go and check uh, different lands and then by that time you already choose which one you want and then you will buy it. It sounds easy, right? So in Chargao, mostly uh, I cannot say like uh, all the land is title. I mean, it's under their name when they are selling. So most of the cases is it's the land is under tax declaration and then the owner of the land is dead and then he pass it to his uh, kids or the 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 land is uh, is not titled you know what i mean or there's only like 10 percent that's according to our attorney that it is titled under a live uh, a live owner so the land that we bought, I'm not going to talk about uh, other things. I'm just only going to share with you guys what we what we have. Because the status of the land that we bought is land is titled but it's under their dead parents. And then they only make a, a, a will. There was a written will that the parents were going to give this land to their kids, to these uh, four kids, you know. So they have... Uh, they are like uh, nine kids but that land the specific land that we are buying is only given to four kids and then those four kids will divide that one or gonna sell that one so the the status of the land that we are buying is titled under their dead parents so the heirs were alive we did first the survey because the agents were telling us uh, you, you guys need to secure this land so we are not going to give it to other people or show it to the other people what if the second uh buyer wants to buy this one and then you haven't uh, do the survey so you know that is their that is their uh, style so if you are if you really wanted that land make sure that all is good uh, you call that one due diligence so you will do the due, due diligence in Shargao it's like uh, there's a uh, there's few attorneys that you can uh, you can go to so we went to uh, we went to do the due diligence and everything is good we just need to to do extra paperwork you know because the parents were dead and they are they are still under the title of that land so uh, everything is good we process it and then uh, when we start the process the attorney asks only the the IDs of us and then the ID of the family tree because he said uh, it's because it's under your dead parents name we need all family members to sign a special power of attorney stating that nobody is uh, going uh, to to come to us in the future and then says oh this is my land i did not authorize you to buy this you know something like that other oh, there, there are some paperwork that the family needs to know they need to gather all their ids and then they need everyone to sign the paper and then the hard thing is of course not everyone is living in one area you know they are living in manila they are living in the other part of uh, of the philippines and then you know it takes time to do uh, things in the Philippines when we are completing the signatures it takes like a week or more than more than one week to complete it so after the the, the signature is complete we went to the attorney and paid the land because everything is good so on the price of the land uh, we have a good deal with the with the seller that they will uh, pay half of the capital gain tax and then if the estate tax is more than a hundred thousand they will pay that one so we really didn't pay that much from the uh, selling price of the land so you're gonna pay for the estate tax which is six percent and capital gain tax which is percent, and then uh, the, so there are three three kind of tax and then when you already have the deed of sale the next process is uh, 
to do the blueprint of the land. So first, when you do the survey, they're going to give you only the sketch plan of the land that you're buying. And then when you already finished, when you already have the deed of sale, and then you will have the, you will ask the surveyor to do the, the blueprint from the DNR. So in our case, we paid only the total of the of the survey is 25,000 but we only paid 15,000 on the sketch and then when we ask him to do the blueprint we add 10,000 so that's the case in Shargao I think mostly they do like that because that's what I heard so you're not going to pay full you know don't pay full also it's not good if you're not holding anything that's the only thing that we did on our land it's a uh, you can buy land that is titled under a dead parents and only the heirs only the heirs is alive that is okay but I like I said there's additional paperwork additional money to pay but if you have a good uh, but if you have a good deal with the seller everything is okay you can also buy tax under tax declaration but there's additional payment additional time to process things you know that's it nothing really hard on the, the process so after uh, right now the status of our land is we are waiting for the bl blueprint from the DENR but we already got the deed of sale which is already under our name so it takes time for that one the surveyor says it takes uh, three three months but if you want ex uh, express it will took less than one month but you need to pay extra of course <laughs> so we we are not in a hurry and then they still need to process the estate tax so we just uh, do the uh, three months processing then afterwards uh, like more paperwork that's from the attorney part and then that's it so, but uh, the only thing that I can I can share with you guys with our experience is when they are so pushy, I think you need to think if you will continue to buy the land because there are certain situations in our in our uh, case that those the agent is kind of pushy, you know, and then he's kind of annoying sometimes. If we knew it uh, earlier, we will not get it. But we like the land and then everything went well. Just a little uh, pushing because they want their money so fast. So <laughs> that's it guys. So I, I've been wanting to do this vlog but I don't know. I feel not motivated but right now I have a nice surrounding. I feel like I look okay today. <laughs> I look okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm doing the part 2 of... Uh, what is the process or what are the tips that i can give when buying a land in shargao so that's it guys there's nothing really to say about it uh, the most important thing if you really wanted to buy the land is to do the due diligence all right so thank you for watching our vlog guys stay tuned for upcoming vlogs and then uh, we are here in Bali, so I've been I will upload more vlogs from here. So thank you, thank you for always watching my videos. Please share it with your friends, <laughs> or share it on your Facebook. Ah, demanding. Anyhow, a nice morning here in Bali, Indonesia. Thank you.